Hey everybody, I'm Andy Smith. I'm a 30 year comic book veteran, having worked for Marvel Comics, DC Comics, Image Comics, Cross Generation, Ominous Press, you name it, I've probably worked for them. And I do other things art wise outside of comics in the field of advertising. I've also written some books on drawing comics you might have seen, uh, drawing American manga superheroes, Drawing Dynamic Comics was my first book. And I also did the handy little How to Draw Superhero sketchbook where all you need is a pencil because you do all the work right inside the book. Enough about that. This is the Book Look series. The Book Look series is where I grab a book off my library. You can see the tons of books I have behind me. And I go through it page by page with you. So you can see if it's a book that you might want to buy. I like to know what I want to buy before I buy it, and I feel this is a way to give you some insight into these books. So join me for today's book look. Thanks. What's up, everybody? It is Andy Smith here, your host with the most. Got something from eBay, thought I would share. Oh, and I got this a few days ago from my wreck, the Cyberfrog Wreck Planet campaign. Love this. Talk about great reference. It makes me want to draw Cyber Frog again now that I have this little uh, 3D model I can look at for him. Anyhow. Uh, all right, let's get to opening this. I know what it is. You don't. That's the fun of these videos. Uh, yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to use the knife here. Yeah, I know, I'm doing the knife part at a camera shot because, you know, if I hurt myself, nobody wants to see that, or do they? Do you? You don't want to see that. Come on now. Be nice. Nice packaging, bubble wrap envelope. I'm a cheapie. I will be reusing that. Nice cardboard. I'll be reusing that as well. Put it right back in the envelope when I'm done. Not the most exciting part of the process, but we'll get through the get through it and uh, look at the book as well. Oh man, I am teasing you hard. Look at that, it's the back of the book. Let's see the front. What did, oh God, okay. I'm not a fan when they tape the book to the cardboard. I get it, it's nice, but a little overkill. But I guess I shouldn't complain. Top Gun. And we're not talking Tom Cruise Top Gun. We're talking Top Gun. Four color com Dell Four Color Comics. Which means it's based on a TV show or a movie. <sighs> Sorry. Uh, a picturized edition of Test Pit. Why did I get this? Of course, I got to complete my John Buscema Dell Comics run. And guys, this is the last book I need. I now have every issue of uh, Dell Comics that John Buscema did. I started with Hercules, and uh, then I got Helen of Troy and Spartacus, and now some Western stuff. Let's throw this bag underneath. Let's take a look at it. Uh, this one is from 1958. You might remember the last one I got, uh, the last Western I got, the deputy was from 60, 1960. So this is uh, 58 when he was 32 years old, he drew this. Man, look at that horse. Dude is riding up on that horse. Give that horse some room. Move that back some. Man, right out of the gate, the inking closed up a lot. It is very thick. And I'm willing to bet if you look at the original artwork, the inking is uh, is not that thick. It looks like it really closed up in the printing process. Overall, by the way, condition-wise, I don't remember how much I paid for this one, 10, 15 bucks. I mean, obviously, it's nothing fancy. It's probably a 5.0, but these books are hard to come by. So I'll take it. I got it mostly because of John Buscema. Uh, six panel grids here. 
This is, once again, before he worked at Marvel doing superhero stuff where uh, Stan Lee said, look at all this Jack Kirby stuff and soak it in for dynamics and stuff. But you got to love just the art in itself, the poses, um, the the posturing, just the, the beautiful take on the wrinkles. And I'm pretty sure he inked this. And just the flow around the page. Sorry horse uh moving left to right into this panel these guys here facing this guy you got the angle here of this so you kind of come down to here the angle of this roof right here pops you right to the dude here and he's facing to the right now he's facing to the left and his body comes down and you see the angle of that arm that brings you down to this way and then once again, he's going towards the right. You got a horse here that gives you a pretty strong horizontal over this way. And then who knows if this was conscious or not. Obviously, this guy enters left to right. This guy's sitting right here. Look at the angle of his body. It does shoot you right up to the next page. So that is stuff that I find so impressive and I really try and think about in my own uh, page layouts and stuff is really trying to move the eye around the page. Um, I don't mind six panel grids actually for this type of book. It's a Western. It's not a superhero book. It's kind of just, you know, each panel. So here's the thing, in my opinion, a six panel grid where all the panels are the same size shows every panel has the same importance. Now, if he did this where he made this panel right here, this guy getting thrown out, the largest panel on the page, well, then to me, it's like, well, that's the most important panel. It has the most action. So that's why I like to vary panels. When you do six panel grids where they're all the same, you're just basically saying each panel has the same importance. But back then when this came out, it was probably just more along the lines of, look, this is how comics are done for the most part. And I haven't looked at a lot of the other Dell four color books by other artists, but who knows? Maybe though maybe Dell was like, look, I want we want these standard type grids for the books. I will say I almost would like to get a crappier copy of this book for my spin rack just because the folds in the clothing are so nice. Uh it's just, you know, referencing photos is great for wrink wrinkles, but then referencing a fantastic artist like Busema is really nice, too, because you know he referenced photos, so you know they're accurate but stylized. Love the knockout black on this guy's shirt. That jacket is just very cool. Cowboy hats look great. But the inks do look thick. Like I said, I'd like to have seen the, the original pages because like this line, this is line work right here on the cheek. But it looks just like a black that was put down. So it's line work like this. But on that cheek on the other page, it just totally closed up because of bad reproduction. I mean, imagine finding these uh, originals and... Um, you know, printing it today, scanning them in and uh, printing it even on newsprint, it would just be night and day. Ho, ho, look at my six shooter here. Look, some burst lines around the six shooter. I love the backgrounds he's doing. Most of this, <clears throat> Excuse me. Most of this, if not all of it, looks like it's inked with a brush. I mean, I really wouldn't be surprised if these pages are just 100% brush inking. Even on the rock texture and stuff. Just has that feel to it. It's funny, I just did a page of Cordrath that has a rock cropping like that. And it just looks like that with the, the black on the side and stuff for the shadow and whatnot. This is really a nice book. I love the lighting right here, blacking out the side of his face. 
but you pop the ear, shows a little bit of depth. So it's not as flat. So far, this book is pretty good shape. I mean, the pages are some yellowed, but that's okay. Uh, does it pass the smell test? Oh, good Lord, that smells so good. My wife hates the smell of used bookstores and newsprint like this, but I love it. It's beautiful long shot right here. I mean, the, the, the thing about six panel grids is it really forces you to focus on the storytelling and the composition in each panel. Total John Buscema running pose here. Nice silhouettes right here, too. Looks like there's going to be a gunfight. Shooting from the shadows. Yeah, this, this is great. I'm very happy that uh, I've... I completed the, the run. I was trying to find these at comic book conventions because I like paying it, I guess, forward that way at conventions to dealers. I just could never find these issues at conventions. So I finally broke down and got it off eBay. So nice. So John Buscema. I mean, you could see a hero in that post from the Avengers. I love this stuff. 32 years old when he did it, you know, and you could just see that this guy at 32, even in his 20s, was just going to be a phenomenal artist. So very happy I got this. Guys, please uh, go check out Core Drath The Reckoning on Indiegogo. The link is in the description below. You can go to coredrath.com to read the first eight pages of the book. There's t-shirts, beanies, and more. Uh, barbarian action at its finest. Go check it out. And uh, I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Retribution! Oh yeah, we want retribution!